So now Christian faithfuls of the Manmin Church in Kenya are mourning the death of the founder and senior leader. Hallelujah, Almighty Father God of love. Please lay your hands on all brothers and sisters receiving this prayer here in attendance. Lay your hands on all the members of the brain churches and local centuries, and all the GCN TV viewers, and those who are watching via satellites, cables, and internet all over the world. The family of Mam in Holiness Church has experienced the promotion to glory, the founder of the church. The church in Nairobi will be receiving guests from Wednesday 3rd to Friday 5th this week. Kindly, if you can, share this video widely so that many will not miss this opportunity in sending off this general. Kindly watch the history of Bishop J. Rock Lee till the end. Since he met the living God and all his diseases were cured by him, he has dedicated himself to manifesting divine healing works, helping people in need, and performing missionary works. By offering up countless times of fasting and prayer to God, he could receive the detailed explanation on the Bible in the Spirit's inspiration, and he has preached it, which has made the church members grow up in faith. The church members have kept on alert, prayed, and gathered together to practice the Word of God like the early church members did, and they are filled with hope for heaven. From the start of this church to this day, I've lived only for the glory of Father God and for the souls that God had asked me to take care of. I spend much more time on praying to God than enjoying with my family. And when extra time was given, I abided with church members. I wish that all church members would live a healthy and blessed life and try to lay down everything I had for it. In 1993, Mammin Central Church was selected as one of the world's top 50 churches by the magazine Christian World of USA. Since 2000, its senior pastor, Dr. Gerald Lee, has preached the holiness gospel in overseas crusades in many countries including Muslim-majority countries and a Jewish state and confirmed his message with signs. Consequently, God the Creator and Jesus Christ were exalted and the powerful works of the Holy Spirit converted numerous people to Christians. Even the dead were brought back to life, the deaf came to hear, and the lame came to walk and jump. The powerful works transcending space and time caused a paradigm shift in the mission work in the 21st century. New York City is one of the world's famous international cities. In New York, GCN is transmitting its signal 24 hours a day via over-the-air channel. GCN has its transmitter in the Empire State Building, one of the landmarks in New York City, and is delivering the Holiness Gospel and God's powerful works to 170 countries via satellite and in cooperation with Christian broadcasters around the world. GCN is headquartered in Seoul, South Korea, and its founder and board chairman is senior pastor of Mamin Central Church, Dr. Gerald Lee. Its influence has been expanded day by day. WCDN was organized based on the belief in God the Creator who created mankind and on the truth of the Bible, which tells us that the cause of all diseases is sins. Through presentations of documented cases of divine healing by the power of God and prayer, WCDN has proclaimed to doctors and intellectual people that God is alive, the Bible is authentic, and Jesus is our only Savior. WCDN was organized with the doctors from many countries who attended Dr. Gerald Lee's overseas crusades in order to medically verify God's powerful works manifested in the Crusades. Although I show the power of God right before the eyes, 
there are people who don't believe in God. And so, I wanted to get help from medical science. I thought, if doctors can medically prove and confirm the works of God, more people will believe in the works of God. Even by doing so, I wish more and more people will accept the Lord. WCDN has currently conducted vigorous activities with directors in the U.S., Scandinavia, India, the Philippines, Indonesia, Russia, Korea, DR Congo, Moldova, Australia, Italy, Ukraine, Singapore, Armenia, Malaysia, and other nations. The member doctors themselves have experienced Dr. Cherokee's power and gave glory to God with testimonies. The first conference in Seoul, South Korea in May 2004. The second conference in Chennai, India in May 2005. The third conference in Cebu, the Philippines in June 2006. The fourth conference in Miami, USA in July 2007. The fifth conference in Trondheim, Norway in May 2008. The sixth conference in Kyiv, Ukraine in October 2009. The seventh conference in Rome, Italy in May 2010. The eighth conference in Brisbane, Australia in June 2011. The ninth conference in Nairobi, Kenya in May 2012. The tenth conference in Toluca, Mexico in June 2013. The 11th conference in Sofia, Bulgaria in May 2014. The 12th conference in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in May 2015. All the conferences have been held with the unsparing support of Dr. Gerald Lee, founder of WCDN. Since the opening, the church has nurtured skillful praise teams and performers in accordance with the will of God the Father. Now, the church's performing arts committee consists of 25 performing teams, 20 soloists, 5 choirs, and Nisi Orchestra, the first orchestra specializing in praises in Korea. They are now spearheading the world Christian performance culture and changing souls around the world with the powerful praise and performance. Urim Books is one of the world Christian publishers publishing and releasing Dr. Gerald Lee's books. More than 92 books in Korean, 292 multilingual volumes in 57 languages, and 300 e-books in 45 languages. Even from the early days of the church, Dr. Lee was aware of the importance of the publication ministry. Mami News, the church's weekly newspaper, is also being issued in 32 languages and used in over 100 countries, which is playing a vital role in achieving the world mission. Mamin International Seminary imparts the knowledge on the fivefold gospel of holiness to pastors all over the world in a systematic way and helps them be established in the truth so that they can become powerful pastors in their ministerial areas. MIS has conveyed the precise interpretation of the Bible and the will of God to many pastors by holding seminars in America, Europe, Africa, Latin America, and Asia. The year 2015 of Mao Min. For the last 33 years since the opening of the church, Dr. Gerald Lee, senior pastor of Mao Min Central Church, has only obeyed with faith to fulfill God-given duties with Mao Min's 10,000 branch and associative churches and meet the justice of God. The church achieved explosive growth in a short time and successfully accomplished Israeli ministry that they had prayed for since the opening, and now the construction of its sanctuaries, Canaan Sanctuary and Grand Sanctuary, which will play a role like the Ark of Salvation toward all the nations is around the corner.
people who have different skin colors and eye colors, people in any social status, no matter whom he met, he just desires to give them change and life. Until the last moment, he couldn't take his eyes off from souls, but he prayed with all his strength, even under the threat of death. He is Dr. Jerrock Lee. Here is an organization that medically proved the power of God with his fervor. WCDN Dr. Jerrock Lee hopes to proclaim the living God, Jesus Christ, our only Savior, and the authenticity of the Bible to all the peoples of the world, together with God-chosen Christian doctors. By doing so, he will lead people to New Jerusalem in heaven with hope for not losing any single soul. If God believing medical doctors become united for this ministry, I'm sure that they can do such great and mighty works as have not been done by anyone else. Now please, show your united strength. We have to live for the glory of God. I pray that you may give great glory to God through this ministry. All thanks and glory be to God the Father who allowed us to have this 12th WCDN International Christian Medical Conference in Malaysia. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.